everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back here to show you all five new head wrap styles. If these five aren't enough for you, make sure you check out my previous video where I show you a bunch more. Okay, I have it linked in the cards above. So this first style, very simple, very classic, very easy go-to head wrap style for locks of all lengths, whether you have long locks like me, or if you have short starter locks, you can achieve this style. Again, very simple, very easy. I start by putting my locks in a low-ish bun. And I'm using the paprika head wrap, but as you can see, I have a ton of colors on my shop, KeishaCharmaine.com, sidebar, okay? So you can always get your color of choice. So I start with my lowish bun, and again, even if you don't have enough locks to put into a bun, you can still do this. You can create the bun with the additional fabric. So I'm just covering my hair with the head wrap. I proceed to wrap the ends around the base of the bun and tuck. And it's that simple. This is a very go-to style. This style always reminds me of Music Soul Child in that video, what's that music video? Just Friends, is that what it's called? And he did not have any locks. So if you have starter locks or if you don't have locks, you can achieve this with ease. Okay, and if you're a man, you can do it too. Cause if music can do it, you can do it. I had to throw on these earrings to set it off. Okay. Feeling cute, I like it. Let me know what you think. For the second head wrap style, I'm putting my hair in a high bun this time. Securing it with a pointer holder, of course. That's not absolutely necessary, but because of the braids that I have, it was necessary for me. And then I proceed to put the head wrap over my head and I'm bringing the fabric to the front this time. In the last style I brought it to the back and now I bring it to the front and I'm wrapping it around the base of the bun again and this creates another classic look but this style is more of an updo crown like style very royal very regal definitely a go-to style I do this style a lot I often do this style revealing some locks at the top, but I want it to be full coverage this time. So all of my hair is completely covered. You don't know if I have locks. You don't know if it's a t-shirt in my hair <laughs> creating volume. And that's one thing that you can do. If you don't have as thick of locks as me, you or as long as locks as me, you can put an extra fabric in there to create the illusion. So let me know what you think about this one. Now this might be the easiest, or if not the easiest, it's probably the second easiest. I'm putting the head wrap on similar to how I did it in the first look, except here my hair is all down. It's completely down. So you do need some length to achieve this style or else, hmm, I'm not quite sure how it will come out if you don't have any length at all, but the purpose is for you to show the length in the back of the style. Once I wrap the head wrap around my hair, I just go ahead and tie it. So it's like I'm creating a ponytail with the head wrap. And then with the additional fabric at the end of the scarves, I just wrap it around the base of the ponytail. And then I go ahead and tuck it. You don't have to roll the fabric like I'm doing, although it does create a really pretty look. It's not necessary, that's just my preference. So I'm rolling it and tucking it to create a neat and pretty look. And once you have this style complete, it works if you wear your hair all back or you can pull your hair to the front if you, you have long enough hair that is. And it's cute like that as well I really like this one too another very simple very user-friendly 
head wrap style. Let me know what you think about this one too. Check it out from the side, the back, and achievable. Here is style number four. I'm bringing my hair back up into a high-ish bun. I actually didn't like the way, wait, is this the same style? I actually didn't like the way my bun came out at first, so I'm gonna show you how I originally made this style, and then I'll show you with the bun that I preferred. But for now, this is how I achieved it. Mind you, this style in particular, I freestyled. I had never tied my head, my, I had never tied a head wrap in this manner, so I was learning as I went. So I start off with a messy braided lock bun. I fold the fabric in half so that it's only really meant to cover my head and not my hair, if that makes sense. The bun is supposed to be out. So I wrap it from the front to the back and I made sure to not, for it to not be too smooth because I wanted it to show layers. So it looks like a lot of fabric and it looks really intricate, even though it's pretty easy to do. I tie it at the front side of my head and then I tuck the ends to create like a bun like, not a bun, to create a bow like accent. And I think that's really cute, what do you think? And here I am like trying to adjust the bun because I didn't really like the way it looked. Eventually I decided to just take it down and start over, like I said. So just stay tuned and see that process. But maybe you like it like this, let me know. See, I created a neater bun this time. And I am redoing everything else the same. I think I created more layers with the head wrap this time. I, I like the way it looks better now. And I'm tucking any loose ends of the braids into the wrap so it's all hidden. Then I go ahead with the faux bow. <laughs> faux bow look with the ends of the head wrap let me know what you think this is cute right yeah again i freestyled this one and don't you love when you freestyle a style for your locks and it just comes out better than you imagined let me know what you think about this one here's the back and now the fifth style and this is the style that i ended up going out with that night I start off with taking a couple braids to the side to create a sweep effect. I love, I love a good sweep. I love a good sweep. And it's like, a, it's unexpected for locks. People don't really expect you to do sweeping styles with your locks, but you can and it looks great. So go for it. And with the hair at the back, I create a mid to low bun secure it with a pointer holder and it's pretty messy but it is intentional like I like for the ends to poke out in this particular style and I go ahead and put the head wrap on top making sure that the bun is out in the back but I'm covering up the braids on top of my head sitting it so that my sweep shows and a bit of my hairline shows as well. I, I do love head wrap styles that do show that I have locks. You see what's going on underneath. This is another style that I freestyled and I was really pleasantly surprised with the turnout. So after I tie the hair around my head, I use the ends, I twirl them around to give them that twisted look. Then I tie it at the top twist the ends again and tuck them into the wrap. And then I just position it so that it feels comfortable and looks presentable, looks to my desire. So that is, this is the last, so this is the last look. I would like for you all to let me know down below which is your favorite look that I came up with. Again, you can always see more head wrap tutorials if you check out my other video, which I have in the cards, and I'll also have a link below. 
And of course, if you want this head wrap, this is in the color Paprika, along with all of my other colors. I have so many different shades, as you can see. You can get them each at KeishaCharmaine.com. Thank you so much for watching. Love, light, and locks.